Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Lugi here, one of your announcers for the MPL. And today, people, we have an interview with one of your coaches, my man Cypher. Introduce yourself. Yo, what is cracking, guys? It is your boy Cypher, and I am glad to be here today for this interview. So we're going to be going through a few questions so you guys can get to know your coach a bit better, get to look at their draft and some other Gucci stuff. And with all that said, let's begin the interview. So Cypher, let's start off by asking, is this your first competitive league? Uh, no, it is not. I've actually been with the MPL since season one. I am currently taking place in the NPL, which is the National Pokeball League uh, by the token minorities. I'm actually in their league right now. And uh, basically, that's about it for uh, leagues. But yeah, I've been in all three seasons of the MPL. Hopefully, or hopefully we can do good this season. Very nice. Very nice. So what is it that you like about league format over standard play? Um, I kind of, I kind of like league format just because I like how you know your opponent's mons and you have to prep for them, but they have to prep for you as well. You know, it, it could be a game changer for your opponent if they out prioritized or at least out prepped you or vice versa. And what I really like about it is, is, you know, is even though you can prep, you never know what's going to happen. That's my main aspect. You know, it's like you could prep for something and all of a sudden you get T waved and that T wave is going to cost you the match and, you know. I don't want to say your prep goes all the way down the drain, but you know it's kind of it's it's kind of fun to think in your head of how you have to work around of what you prepped for, you know. So that's really why I like the draft format. It's just, it's just the prepping and what you have to do if your prep goes wrong, you know. Very good points. Like you can over prep for a mon completely, and then they bring the thing that's least threatening to your team and just puts in all the work and sweeps you. So exactly, yeah, league, league format's a lot of fun. So outside of league format, what other stand, um, formats do you play? Do you like UU, OU, what would it be? Um, I would say my favorite is UU, just because there's a lot of overpowerful Mon, especially coming from the OU tier like Conkeldar and Sylveon. Yep. Uh, UU is definitely my favorite. Uh, I like to play PU a couple of times, even though there's not too many people that do play PU as well. But uh, definitely UU's up there. I like to play OU sometimes. Uh, I'd say my least favorite tier is probably NU, just because there's not too many fun mons that you get to play with. You know, you, you kind of expect the one simple set from the mons at NU. So, but other mm -hmm. than that, I, I think UU's really fun, just because again, like there's a lot of you know different typings and you know different aspects of mons. Like you can run a you know a fast Nido King or a you know a bulky Nido King. You know, so I guess just the way that the mons are set up is what I really like about the UU tier. Is there like a favorite mon or a go-to mon that you have in UU? Oh man, there's plenty of mons. Um, that's a good question, actually. Um, I would say Nido King. Nido King's probably one of my favorite UU mons. I mean, I know it's my mascot and all, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's just he's so versatile. And the thing is, is you can run a lot of him. You can his physical attacks are really high. You slap a life orb on that thing for the sheer force ability. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things you can do. There's a toxic spikes, venom drench set. You know, just everything. You get Sucker Punch, you know, Earthquake, Earth Power, all of it, you know. So that's that's why I really like him because he's versatile and the thing is you can run a lot of different types of moves on him. Yeah, Nido King, is, Nido King is definitely up there. I The only problem I have with it is I feel its speed is just a little bit too low for it to become a sweeper. Oh, you know, yeah. Having said that, if they gave us a Mega Nido King in Sun and Moon, Oh man! Ooh, oh straight man! To oh straight my to God! That thing's gonna be insane. I would just like to see the ability they slap on that thing. That'd be insane. Just make sheer force even better. Like keep the damage boost, but uh, give you back the secondary effect. Give a huge broken. speed boost to him. Oh man! Broken, broken, broken. <laughs> All right. So, being realistic here, where do you see yourself ending up this season? Um, well, actually, uh, before my gaming PC last season broke down on me, I had unfortunately had to f to uh, forfeit the rest of the season. So I believe I went, uh, I believe six and six in the season. I almost made playoffs, but unfortunately I couldn't attend uh, playoffs. Um, but this season, I feel really confident in my draft. You know, that said, there's a lot of things I do lack, um, which I probably won't get on here just so my opponents don't get an advantage. Um, <laughs> Good point. But at the end of the day, I, I really think this draft could potentially keep up with my draft like from last year. I mean, last year I had Lando T and Su you know Suicune that were big parts of my team. Uh, but this year, I, th I think my draft's pretty solid. You know, I have my wall breakers, I have my physical or er, uh, physical hitters, I have my special hitters, I have my walls that can eat hits. You know, I have a lot of basically everything. It's just a, again, in the slightest touch, there are a couple of things I'm missing. But overall, I'm actually really, really hyped to use this team. 
uh, and, and I, I really think we're actually gonna do pretty good my, my biggest goal is now that I you know I've, I've actually have every all the equipment that I need to actually record videos and get them done I, th I think we got a good playoff chance that's awesome man you guys heard, heard it here first your playoff contender cypher mm -hmm. gonna make it to the championships there we go oh yeah so continuing off of that is there any coach that you really either want to play or you don't want to face well there's a lot of coaches that I have actually played off with before um, as you guys, or if you don't know, I'm in the Moon Division because we, you know, we split them up in divisions. And there's a lot of people that I have uh, actually been with since season one. Uh, you know, such as Baltimore Braveyards with Moxie and Fernape, Leeds Ryehorns with Jordy, aka Jokalisk. Uh, Dan has been there a while. Uh, Bizer, you know, those guys have been there, which I do play all of them. So that's actually pretty cool because you know, just sticking with them through the league all these seasons. You know, it's it's kind of cool. You get to know people, but then again, I do play people that I've never played before. I play Blizz. Who is part of the Blackthorn Fargadiers? I play Viridian B drills and Dench, which I've never played in the whole draft format. So I really love my schedule. And the good thing is, not only do I get to play most of these people once, I get to play these people twice, which is actually lit to me. Sounds very good. I'm looking forward to all the matchups, as should you guys be as well. Now, if there if there's a mon that's not allowed in league format right now that you could add to your team. What would it be? Oh. We're not gonna go, you know. We're gonna we're not gonna go all crazy out with like a Mega Rayquaza or anything like that. Maybe like a a, mon a Ninja. Okay, okay. Um, you know, a Mon that I actually would complement my team. That I put personally, I think Ega Slash could really benefit my team. Uh, only reason I say Ega Slash is is I have a couple of Mons that can set up Stealth Rocks, but if I can keep those Stealth Rocks, so maybe use Ega Slash as a uh, spin blocker, you know, that I think that'd be kind of cool, but also being able to add that physical slash special split for him. Um, and there's a lot of things you could, again, you could do with them. You know, King Shield would definitely help my defense out, obviously, but uh, I, I think if I had to pick a mon that was that could be in league format, I definitely would pick Aegislash Slash just to help spin block, you know, and just kind of mm -hmm. like use as like a, as a, you know, you got to you have your opponent think. But yeah, I think I would use him as a spin blocker, and I think he could benefit the Detroit Live parts a big time. I think Age of Slash could should be in a shout to be in League Form. I know that can be a whole nother video discussing it, but it's a lot of 50-50s, and if you can wake your, make your way around it, then oh, yeah. it's definitely not unstoppable. Easily. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so working off of that as well, what's your favorite Pokemon to use in League Play? Oh, favorite Pokemon. That's a very good question, actually. Um, I would have to say the favorite Pokemon of mine is I didn't get this Pokemon this season because I wanted to start something new But I think Starmie is a very good Pokemon. I really 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 like to use in the draft format uh, Just because there's a, again. There's a lot of things you can do with Starmie He's a very good fast and you know spinner his special attack is off the wall his abilities are amazing like natural or natural cure plus having the analytics so you know a lot of opponents are going to have to either, you know, take the hit from Starmie or switch out, and then their next Mon's going to have to take a hit. Uh, he's, mm -hmm. Again, he, like I said, he's a very fast, rapid spinner. He gets Reflect type, so say if you're in against a Water type, and you ref well, that's actually a really bad thing since I'm already <laughs> Water type, um, but say uh, like a Poison, you know, it's like Poison can't really hit Poison, so you Reflect your, your reflect type yourself as a Poison, you know, that's, that's going to shut down a Poison wall big time, you know. Uh, so again, I would probably say Starmie just because he's very, very, very... Uh, versatile and you know just his stats aren't like crazy low but I mean he's at that average stat where he can at least eat a hit but deliver an even harder hit you know that's an interesting choice you know I wouldn't expect a lot of people to pick Starmie but it is tier one for a reason you know it's probably the most reliable rapid spinner we have again all the abilities you mentioned and yeah it's a really really good one Really, yeah, really seeing good. seeing him drop to, to OU and then just seeing how quick he dropped, like or he, that he raised back into OU was just like absolutely insane. Mhm. Mm so we've already discussed a Pokemon you'd like to add to draft format. If there's one you think right now, if any, is too broken that you would kick out, what would it be? That's a very very good question. Um, I don't want to say this, and I really don't want to toot my own horn at this point, but I think Kieran Black would be a very good Pokemon to at least maybe bump out of the draft yeah. format, uh, just because again he's a very hard hitting, uh, a very hard hitting wall breaker, you know. Uh, but again, and like you said, like he's really in this draft f format just because of his move set. You know, there's a lot of moves that he doesn't get that he should have. Um, 
Kieran Black is definitely a Pokemon, but then again, I'm not going to get too upset because I do have him this season. So, <laughs> uh, But I, I'd say a Pokemon that is pretty overpowerful in the draft format. Again, if, if it wasn't Kieran Black for my sake, I'd probably say Azumarill as well. Azumarill is very powerful and you don't know. You mm. really don't know. I mean, like once you get belly drums, you know, belly drummed up, unless you have something unaware, you're almost almost eight out of ten times defeated by that thing. Mega Venusaur is probably the best counter to it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easy yeah. by far. You know, that's I'm I'm not really worried about Azumarill this season, and I do play uh, Blizz, aka Ioku, this season, so I'm not really too worried about what that thing's gonna do. But either way, I have a counter for, it, so that's all that matters. Just so you, you could be responsible for the uh, banning of Kieran Black next season, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> keep that, keep that in mind. All right, so now that we're done with those questions, we're gonna jump into the quick fire round. Okay. All right, it's going to be some related Pokemon questions and some aren't. You ready? I'm good. All right, three, two, one. Favorite type? Poison. Favorite food? Pizza. Favorite movie? Oh, uh, Law Abiding Citizen. Nice, nice. Power or accuracy? Power. Charizard X or Y? Charizard Y. Spikes or Stealth Rock? Stealth Rocks. Chipotle or Taco Bell? Oh, Taco Bell. <laughs> Superman or Batman? Oh, Batman. And finally, Team Sun or Team Moon? Team Sun. Thank you. You are one of the first people that says Team Sun. Team Sun all the way. Team Sol Sun. For, Let's go. Solgaleo for president. There we go. Please. All right. And that's the interview, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to make sure to check out all of the links down below. You can find Cypher's channel and all the other coaches as well. And the first game of the season, which goes up on June 19th. Be there. You don't want to miss out. Anything you want to say, Cypher? Uh, make sure you guys you guys check out my channel. That will have the Season 1 game against me versus Poi, which is going to be our in-state rivalry. He does live in Michigan as well as I do. So it's going to be a very good game. Make sure you guys go check that out. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and say hashtag Team Sun because nobody likes Team Moon. And there we go. Other than that, let's just be hyped for this season. There we go, guys. You heard it here first. Be hyped. Be hyped. The season starts soon. And with all that, it's Megalugia here checking out. Peace. See you.